So let me see. Uh, the brilliance of the human species. So I'm not sure if you know what uh, you know near Earth objects are, but these are objects that orbit within the orbit of the Earth around Sol. Now I don't know if you know the term Apophis, uh, but that one is going to come very close in 2029. Now they don't advertise this at all. They very seldom speak about the published probability numbers that were produced by JPL. 1 in 38 chance of a collision. It was 1 in 44. Now it's been updated to a 1 in 38. Think about that. But are we attempting to do anything? No. The NEAR project was supposed to be funded by Congress, and in their fucking wisdom, they decided that it would be better to uh, you know, build a couple of more nuclear submarines than to protect the planet. What an infected, defective species we are. If the Earthlings could just get together and say, enough is enough, but it never happens, because the military-industrial complex, the people with which I talk about frequently are in control and they're going to stay in control. And I've said it over and over again, the only way this is going to end is in cataclysm. That's it. That's, that is the goal of the military industrial complex, okay? You don't build bombs without using them. You don't build spaceships without using them. You don't build space weapon systems without using them. So, you know, we spend as much money detecting these objects and you know, if we just had an explosion like Tunguska happen, let's say in the Midwest or in Europe somewhere in a populated area, everything would change. That would be the number one priority because it would kill millions, maybe, maybe, maybe tens of millions of people. So, but we spend about as much money on mirror earth objects as a McDonald's. A McDonald's. That's how much money we spend on protecting our planet. Our only home is as much money as they spend for a McDonald's. What a defective fucking species we are. What is wrong with us? What is going on in here? Is it a self-destructive behavior? Or is it just a few very, very misguided leaders leading us down the wrong path? Which is it? I, sometimes I'm confused about what it is. There's times where I think it's our leaders and there's other times where I think it's my neighbor. So, <laughs> that's why I do all my videos. I have to get this off my chest. You know, I always say, I wish I could wake up in the morning and know nothing. You see, I know things I don't want to know. I know things you don't want to know. It's, it's, not, it's not a pleasant existence. Without friends and family, there'd be no reason for me to stay here at all. And evidently, I'm supposed to be telling a few of you not to fear death. That this whole, this, this existence, this whatever it is that we're living, this reality that we're living... Is, is, is part of a, it's a stage, it's a step, you know, it's a precursor. So, what is wrong with us? We won't defend our planet, but we'll go build nuclear submarines up the yin-yang and stealth bombers and smart weapons and spaceships and laser weapons and, you know, we build all this shit, but, but do we try to defend our home world? No. Because everybody's always worried about their little tiny piece of it, and that's it. And what the others might get that they don't have. And so forth and so forth. You know, the typical human behavior. So, look it up. Apophis 2029. That's going to be a close one. Okay? 1 in 38 chance. That's the published number right now. That's a little too fucking close for me. That's a little too close for me to not have a discussion going on. This is a 15-year project. That's cutting it a little close, don't you think? Unless... Unless they've already got that faster than light ship out there that's just going to go out and nudge it. We'll see. 
And that's why there's no alarm, because they already know they have the defensive system in place for it, right? That, that, could, on, that could be the only answer for logic to prevail here, <laughs> is that, you know, the, the, the FTLs that they have already, you know what I mean, the flux liners, whatever, you know, that's what they used to call them. So it's 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 that's probably what they're thinking is that well we now have the technology to go out and nudge these things. It doesn't take much. You go out, you know, you can actually, you know, one of the most one of the most appreciated and approved plans is to go park it park an object just off of the asteroid or or comet and uh and have gravity because it's you know object mutual objects mutually attract and have that pull that object slowly over a long period of time which we don't have, and have it miss, you know, Earth. So, yeah, 1 in 38. It's just too close for me. It's too close for me. What is wrong with us where we don't take care of our planet or that's not important? I'll tell you why. Because we've divided ourselves into little packets of humanity that think different, act different, have different goals, different ideals, and uh, every one of those are destructive to the planet, basically. And so we use and consume to try to get above the other groups. We consume more of the planet. We destroy more of the planet. We heat up more of the planet, trying to get ahead of that other group so that they can't threaten us in some way. Because it's all about violence. Violence, violence, violence. Watch TV. Watch TV for, for six hours and tell me how many murders you witness. How many explosions and shootings and rapes. You tell me how many you see. On the entertainment, what we use for entertainment is death, murder, rape, destruction, the most horrible things. That's what we watch for entertainment. Don't tell me there's nothing wrong with this. We're being trained. That fucking box is to train you. That's what it's for. I monitor and see it every day because I see it for what it is. It's a brainwashing tool. That's what it is. And so, you know, if they, when you want to get ideals across, if there's going to be a war, just look for 10 Audie Murphy movies to show up and John Wayne and, you know, that's, that's what happens. Uh, nothing but patriotic war movies when we're about to go to Iraq or Iran or, or Iran, <laughs> or Afghanistan. A little slip of the tongue there that scares the shit out of me. So, yeah, it's, you know, I, I would try to write a letter to my congressman and go, could we pay attention a little bit more to these, you know, these near-earth crossing objects? So, so you know we might be able to save the only planet we have, okay? 